Hey, this is Marshall again. I uh, wanted to give some advice as far as miking a djembe. Um, as an audio engineer, I haven't had to run into this too much. Most people will place one microphone right at the front of the drum, because, I mean, drummers tend to, we wail our arms everywhere, especially if you're playing something really exciting and you need a lot of volume. You'll swing your arms a lot further, so you can't always have a mic right here where I have this mic placed, because you'd hit it. You don't want to hit it. Mics can be expensive. So most people play it safe, and they'll put a microphone at the front of the drum, away from the drummer. And most drummers tend to like that because it's not in their way. They can play whatever they want and not have to worry about hanging the microphone at all. Um, I also have, a lot of times when I've mic'd a, a drum, I have a low-end mic. Here we have a D112. Can you see it? There it is, a little bit. And I place that where the, um, the floor kind of meets the gym bay since it's tilted forward, the sound channel's out, and that's able to pick up a lot of the low end. Uh, not too much of the high end comes out of the bottom, as far as I've found. Uh, most of the high end stays up here, especially if you use techniques like me and you do a lot of muting. Uh, the dilemma with that, uh, drummers who will use that technique, is if you're miking over here, and they're playing over here, if they're muting the drum head to get that kind of slap, all that, all the resonating is happening in this section. So if you're miking over here, you're not going to have a clear pickup of that area. So, at least for these videos, I've done a real close overhead because I know myself and if you're able to talk to your drummers and get them used to playing with a microphone in this close proximity, uh, this is omnidirectional right now, and it should be able to pick up this whole surface area pretty clearly, uh, pretty consistently, so there won't be a disadvantage of having a cardioid far away and near miking if you're playing on this section. This, in a general cardioid pattern, should be able to pick up the whole drum at this distance, provided the drummer isn't flailing around like mad, uh, hitting the microphone. If they're comfortable with it being there, if they can play with that, I would recommend miking it from this point. Um, as far as reverbs go, you can add reverb to a djembe in a number of ways, and that'll drastically change the sound. I tend to have reverb on it real subtly, just to give it some space, some depth. But if you put a lot of reverb on there, it can sound like you're out in the middle of nowhere, something from, say, well, any kind of film that has had a djembe drive part of the soundtrack. You'll hear, a, you'll, as far as I can recall, you'll typically hear a lot more reverb uh, in that circumstance to give it more of a spacious sound. So uh, some examples of different reverbs on the drum could be like this. <laughs> 